turning a set of cattle and speed one side of them up and use the herd basically to, to change the whole direction. So as he pushes on that corner, he should be able to push them out of that gate, which is where they, that's their favorite spot. And that's something I'm gonna talk about while I think about it. If you get in a set of cattle and put them in a pen, they all have a favorite spot and they'll get in that corner. If you want to get them acclimated and get them used to being in that pen and, and working better, you better teach them to go to every part of that corral and be comfortable. That's what they call acclimation. Curtis actually is driving the outside of this herd and he can circle it by just continuing to put speed on the outside and use those cattle to turn the rest of them. And that's, do that driving herds all the time. That's the way we don't think about it a lot of times, but we can just put a little more pressure on one corner or one side and we'll change the whole direction of the mop and cattle going. The thing that I say a lot of times, we don't stay flat enough to the cattle when we're trying to go straight. If we were trying to go out of that pen over there, that I think would be, there's the concept they call working in a T to the gate, and that means that you stay in a straight line behind the cattle in whatever gate you're trying to go to. Now if you don't have more than they're not but one of you, you have to work flat across the back of them and be pretty swift going back and forth. Kurt's gonna send them in that in single file, I guess. Now, you gotta make sure that one goes on through the pen before you can push it out on them other ones pushing in there. <clears throat> he doesn't find where he wants to be in. Now this is where working on the side of those cattle, you can actually have a lot of control. You've got to get the movement turned, and he'll probably come and work more from the front of those cattle. It's Kurt, if I'm saying something that's not right, will you just tell me? I gotta change your mind. You get cattle hung up at a gate. A lot of times we go to the front and we actually just put a lot of pressure on the very back of that herd and they have a tendency to flush out on us. If you'll take one animal, bring them around the outside and throw them to the front. Just one individual work, the rest of them just hold it, bring that animal around, just keep spinning them and they'll eventually go in the gate. It's amazing how it works. I thought everybody was crazy the first time I heard or saw that, but it works very well. See, Kurt just made a little movement back down in those cattle and he's getting them all turned around. He got his buddy going to go up there and won't go in the gate. Now, if he had kept walking past, he could turn that red, that black and white steer back again. But right now, he's still straight. He's bring these back ones around, let them come to the front, and they'll start looking for a hole. Old Red Simmental cross looking thing, he's a, he's a little more sensitive to pressure than some of the others are. Kurt can step up here and back that black, white faced calf up a step or two or turn him back around. Let them others come in behind him. Once again, this is where that pushing on the eye that he was trying to demonstrate in there before lunch is so important. 